so just now on stage, this character was described, this version of Da Vinci has sort of Tony Stark meets Sherlock Holmes meets Indiana Jones. That's we set the ball out. Right. Yeah. yeah. What's it like playing a character that's uh, all those things combined? It's a gift. Being able to being able to do all that stuff in, on, in one character and in per episode, there's moments of exploration and puzzle solving and then fighting and then and then being caught in giant conspiracies all in one character and in one show is a rare thing to have, a rare privilege. And can you describe your character and uh, how she fits into this story? Um, yes, yeah, she's um, ex an extremely complex, multi-layered woman. Um, she's married, she's a mistress, and she's falling in love, I think, for the first time ever with... Um, this guy. This, with Indi Indiana Jones. <laughs> right. And um, uh, there's loads of stuff that we don't know about this woman. She keeps a lot kind of to her chest and you discover things along the way and um, there are certain things that you'll kind of think why is she doing what she's doing and then she'll justify them and then so I'm hoping the audience will kind of have a battle with that we get why she's doing it and then the next week kind of think I can't believe she's doing that and so I, I think it's um, it's fascinating to play because every time I approach a scene she's in a completely different state because of because of the situation that she's in. And what's the interplay like between the two of you? You know, what do you make of her character? Well, she's because of everything Laura's just said. She is the one person who he can't get a finger on. So, for a man who thinks he can understand everyone and can see each chess game a hundred moves ahead, with Lucretia, there's something missing that he cannot put his finger on that will eventually be his uh, potentially be his undoing. And uh, your character has, needless to say, a, a wide skill set. Can you talk about what you've had to learn to do to play this role? I've had to learn to paint with both hands, to sword fight with both hands, to improve my uh, dexterity in my left hand, left wrist. Um, I've had to go through a vigorous training regime um, and diet change to sort of make it very lean and... and, and enviable. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's sort of athletic, but period athletic rather than sort of modern day bulky. Well, if I ended up with the abs that he's got, I would have done it too. <laughs> Properly done it. I don't, I don't <laughs> think so. I, no, there's only so much quinoa a man can eat. Um, but yeah, it's, it was, it's, been, it's been good. It's been hard, but there's been loads of different stuff. And horse riding as well, mm. thing, yeah. which you, we, we've all had to do. Mm -hmm. uh, it, we saw some footage just now on stage, and both the glimpses we saw and what you guys were talking about, it sounds like this will not shy away from getting pretty visceral, both in the violence side, the sexuality side. Uh, what's that been like shooting? Oh, well, I mean, David writes the truth, so yeah. you just honour that. You honour the story, you honour the relationships, you honour every single moment. And yeah. there's time for us to sit down with David and together and kind of talk through all the different moments. And you just, you honour it, you tell the yeah. truth in every situation. And it's, it's nice to be on a network that there isn't any censorship. Um, we can write as happens. It was a period where that kind of stuff happened anyway. And we're able to do it in a way, hopefully, or we've certainly worked really hard to make sure that stuff that could be um, perceived as gratuitous isn't. That stuff that actually, you know, it's graphic and it's visceral and, you know, you, you see everything that you could see, but it's done for a very specific reason. It was hinted by David that the show will kind of have fun with uh, the line of fantasy and reality and kind of skirting that line. Uh, have you been surprised or intrigued by the scripts you've seen and going back and forth on the, along that line? Yeah, every day you read the scripts and you discover something new that you didn't yeah. see in the first read. It's mad. The amount of stuff that's in there and the amount of different genres that we are approaching and tackling and hopefully mm. succeeding in creating. It's, it's, it's a joy. I love to come to set when I'm not working and just sit the monitors and watch the production happen and evolve and grow mm. and it's honestly taken my breath away at times yeah. it's one of the only times I've ever actively wanted to go to set when I'm not filming and just be part of what we're making because it's it's breaking boundaries I think on mm. you know television and, and and I feel like we're making eight mini movies anyway yeah. so it's 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 startling what we're doing. And like, there are moments in the scripts, like you say, of, of just where I think there's a bit at the end of one of the mid-season episodes that you flip the page and you go, "What?" <laughs> and you know, and that's great to just be doing that when you're when you're re you know just reading it. What it'll be like when you've invested in the characters yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah exciting.